Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, hey, and there? these are the top 20 shonen anime series. You go ahead and try. Ah. For this list, we'll be looking over the anime that adheres to the conventions of and have since gone on to define the shonen genre. But Hey, Mojoholics. For a chance. Oh, and 20. Fire Force. Boom! Not off the heels Fuck of its Fire spiritual Force, predecessor, bro. Soul Eater, Boom. this anime is so much more than a flash in the pan. It has good animation, but kind of dog shit writing. In my opinion. That's just my opinion, but that's why we're here. In a world where me to give my opinion. can turn into living flames known as infernals at the drop of a hat. I mean, it's cool that everyone has this. It's, it's all fire and stuff. Threats. That's a cool idea. Animation's pretty. Does a lot of shonen things. But, uh... It's there that newest recruit Shinra finds himself at the center of numerous Yeah, the writing, though, as the falls apart pretty of the quickly. flames that they possess threaten to come to light. While the fights are furiously yeah. fun, it's the crazed. They tell Shinra he's a hero after like the first episode. He hasn't keeps done anything yet. Back for more. And then he kicks his black woman so hard that she like falls in love with him. And I'm just not a fan. <sighs> Number that. 19, Spy Family. Ooh, a, spy, a very an recent and an one. Put them all together. Shout out to my friend Matara, get? her favorite anime. The most capable, dysfunctional, yet adorable family. The I do want to watch more of this. Years. I've only seen a couple oh. episodes. But... Oh, Starting really off funny. as a mission to infiltrate and a neighboring country in order to prevent a war, super spy Twilight finds himself entangled with a Twilight. daughter who can unknowingly read minds, while his yeah. fake wife spends her nights killing off targets. She's an assassin. Spoilers. For the premise. <laughs> The capers are <laughs> certainly compelling, but it's really the comedy and cute family dynamic that endeared this series to so many, mainly through the medium of Anya's mind-reading antics. Awesome. I haven't got enough of that episode yet. Saint Seiya, a classic that I have not seen, checking out, especially but it's a classic. Who like their ever-expanding cast of bishonen heroes with colorful attires, plenty mm -hmm. of romance, and all tied together with a mythological aesthetic. A late 80s classic. Looks like Dragon Ball. -er. Tasked mm -hmm. with protecting the goddess Athena, Say I like that we're doing so Olympians with 20 slots we can do modern and throwbacks. Some that even hold up to this day in terms of their scope. Another dimension. If you've been hungering for a Sailor Moon adjacent, one with its own grand legacy you can lose yourself in. Sailor Moon's a show show technically, so I don't think it'll be on this list. Got you covered. Yeah, the Sailor armor is like iconic and Number 17, Yu Yu All the Hakusho. way down here. Demons, finger guns, I thought this would have been in the top 10. Spirit Detective, the phantasmic action that this series dished out was a landmark for the genre. I still have to finish watching the show. Such a bad day. It makes me a real jerk. I just finished the Dark Tournament. Oh. Following his accidental death, rebirth, and new occupation as a guardian between worlds, Yusuke's new lease on life gave us plenty of tightly plotted arcs to indulge in, as well as a killer supporting cast. Come on, you believe in mercy, don't you? No. <laughs> uh, Kurama's down. Between the exquisite dark tournaments and the showdown with incredible villains such as Sensei, Yu Yu Hakusho is well worth a watch for those uninitiated in Yusuke's particular brand of detective work. You go ahead and try. Hasn't been a ton of detective work in this show. So mostly tournaments. Number 16, Roroni Kenshin. Another classic. Although unfortunate because the uh, author is a. Uh... Criminal. Once a feared swordsman but, who killed uh, without remorse. Not like a cool, he's like a pedophile, I mean, not like a cool criminal. <laughs> to a fantastic historical um, adventure filled with more slicing but this show is great. than you'll likely be able to handle. Yeah. 
After the, the uh, Shusui arc in the anime, you have to go read the manga because they never did the Inishi arc in the anime. Such as Makoto Shishio made the whole oh, of one of the best action anime. The Shishio arc is top top tier. Why do you think it's gotten so many remakes and OVAs over the years? But they never they never did the Inishi arc proper. Well, there's the live action movie. But I would suggest going to read the manga 15, and then watching the movie. Tale. No, what above you, you Hakusho kind of and Rurouni Kenshin? With a heaping helping of magic Are you battles, fucking kidding me? Honestly, even Fire Force is better than, than the show. Although I did watch like sixty episodes of Fairy Tale before I realized From it was bad, and I watched like nine episodes of Fire Force before I dropped it. But I was older when I watched Fire Force. With, the brawls do not stop here, though. That's mainly down to hot-headed Natsu spitting fire everywhere he goes. I mean, Fairy Tale does have its share of hype moments and. Cool moments and stuff. Not but exactly the and Urza is a dope character. She's like the be best character here. of this nonsense show. God, the writing is just so bad, though. It just falls apart. It's re repetitive and just constantly falls apart. Honestly, the best kind of ridiculous. Number 14, Chainsaw Man. Oh, okay. Welcome aboard I wouldn't mind Fairy Tale being on the list, but I do mind it being above Yu Hakusho. I think that's insane to put it above Yu Hakusho by any metric kind of expectancy goes out the window in exchange for a delightfully degenerate lead and there's another show I haven't seen yet bloody violence but man am I excited to you gotta love it after being turned into a half devil filled to the brim with chainsaw blades Denji chooses to embrace his new this. reality of bloodshed and servitude all in the faint hope of a better life and the off chance he can get some. <laughs> well, oh. Unafraid of going to some truly dark yet poignant places, this ain't your granddaddy shonen, but it's well worth diving into all the same. It seems almost seinen with the level of violence. And then cut. <laughs> Number 13, Black Clover. Yeah. It started off as the butt of I... a joke, and quickly rose up to become one of the strongest and beloved contenders of the whole genre. Yeah, but is it better than you, Hakusho, and Rurouni Kenshin? Even Saint Seiya. Is it really as good as those? Asta's dream to become the Wizard King might sound I don't like think the this, same this, I don't tale of determination and friendship, but like, it's still going on now, but I don't think in, like, two decades in with anyone's gonna care about Black Clover and or Fairy Tale. Solid world building. The way people care about Saint Seiya and Yu Yu Hakusho. I think in two decades people will still talk about Chainsaw Man. But I don't think anyone's gonna talk about Black Clover. With the eclectic supporting it's just, cast, does a wonderful it's just too generic, really bad. Just how well this series understands I can't really criticize it too much because I haven't really watched we'll be it. If we aren't rooting for Everything I've seen of it just dream. screams believe in your king. mid to me. <laughs> like, not bad, but just, like, replaceable. Number 12, Jujutsu Kaisen. Dominating the yeah, this is a fair place a to put it. Combination of dark fantasy, I would put it higher, but I... And as long as it's on the list, I'm fine with it, because it's still very new. And pure hype. Jujutsu Kaisen yeah, truly hype, recency bias. You know. overnight. It could fall apart later. I haven't read the manga, so I don't know. Um, I don't expect Roped it to. Into the world of sorcerers after becoming the vessel this would be in my top five spirits. right now. But again, Itadori's it's like how people... It's like how people say like Demon Slayer is their favorite anime of all time already. It's like, I I <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to just you know I don't want to drink all the hype. I don't get fucked up on hype juice, you know. I do love JJK though, unabashedly. And outright monsters. Demon Slayer is gonna be on this list, so it's gonna be like in the top ten. It's gonna be higher than this. I guess it's fine. JJK's writing is just, like, way better than everything else that's been on this list so far. I can't speak for Chainsaw Man. Even though I haven't seen Black Clover, I I know it's not as well written as this. <laughs> like, I can tell. I can tell by all the clips that people share, it's not as good. Um, I can't say and say, I don't really know. It's older, too. I've seen enough of you Hakusho to know that... Well, it's not fair to compare those two. They're different eras. Yu Hakusho's good. JJK's more modern. 
Honestly, if you're still on the fence about this one, we kindly refer you to look at the magnificence that is Gojo. JJK is like the perfect modern shonen. Like, it's beautiful, it's funny, it has heart, great Number character 11, dynamics, cool fights, great academia. animation. Great writing. To all things superhero, Hype. Has since gone on to become a shining example. Yeah, my hero. Right. Yeah, this should be up there. Yeah. It kind of ushered in the new era. I feel like my hero academy, a boku no academia. Even in a world of caped crusaders, Deku and his fellow wannabe heroes have proven themselves to be a cut above the rest with their heroics not only allowing for a medley of epic bouts against villains of all shapes and sizes, but have also consistently elevated its narrative by putting the spotlight on what a superhero society might look like, and all the vice and darkness that it produces. Yeah, that moment, uh... For anyone who loves any and all aspects of superhero culture, this is a plus ultra recommendation. I'm behind on this show, so I don't, I don't remember that 10, moment. Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Yaiba. number ten. Okay, what do you get when you combine an epic tale of swordsmen against demons? I'm kind of running at well. Tables, so animation. Bleach is gonna be up there, huh? Bleach, Naruto, Dragon Ball, and One Piece. One of Shonen FMA. shining stars that has consistently blown us away with just how monumental Tanjiro's journey to cure his sister of her demonic affliction has become. This kind of about the Shonen. Top twenty Shonen. The action scenes that pit the Demon Slayers against the Upper Moons are some of the medium's most fluid and explosive Yeah, when Goku versus held down uh, with some off-cuff comedy number and three a or whatever sobering was sense of drama. Right. As despite constantly losing allies and loved ones, Tanjiro continues to soldier on for the sake of his sibling. I mean, it's, it's good. It's that good show and stuff. Bleach. Ichigo yeah. Kurosaki's life took a rather ghostly turn when he became the a substitute Bleach Shinigami. Is, it did peak. And in doing so, led the, the Soul Society the arc is peak. During its prime. One of the best we were anime arcs of some all time. Sword fights um, Ichigo's encounters with the but man does it fall off after 13, that. And again man. with the Espada. I know it has like the second life now that they brought it back from the Thousand Year Blood War and everyone's hyped about the Yamamoto Iwak fight that keeps getting shared. Why is it so loud? Yo. Yeah. Well, yeah, I remember that. It's a good scene. Somewhat fell apart Asia Go vs. Biaki was cool. Original run, it found new life with its revival via the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Yeah, now it's okay to put Bleach in these lists again. This series can hey, remember when Bleach? Firing on all cylinders. Yeah, okay. Remember Aizen? Remember Yamamoto? And Number eight, Gintama. Oh, Gintama! Should have thought of that as much one. As the bloodshed, the I should. This is a show I should probably watch. Huh? Gintoki lend themselves to I've never seen it. more so than most. This is the clip I always watch. While the countless odd jobs that often end poorly, he like makes an argument why it's better to piss the bad than in that. stitches. This series knows just when to, to bust out the bokuto and deliver on some truly savage fight scenes. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> he rinsed that old man. Why? I don't know the context for that. Wouldn't have thought that a narrative involving paying yeah. the rent and alien insurgency would blend together with. A I know it has that immortal guy as like the big boss. Allies, but you'll find that the series balances itself seamlessly. <laughs> Number seven, JoJo's Oh Bizarre yeah, of Adventure. course. Yeah, the of course. saga of the Joe Stars is. The series is only getting more popular. 
and it's kind of getting that like One Piece level of like the years, epic saga ness because of all the when it comes to cultural commentary, yeah. abilities that go beyond the pale, and so much creativity placed into its fight scenes that it's become a juggernaut that all aspire to. And the the whole concept of the stand has become like a huge whether you're thing. down bad for the early days of Phantom Blood. Or you're all about the perilously Floridian adventures of Stone Ocean, JoJo remains an anchor for shonen goodness despite breaking, inverting, and redefining every cliche along the way. It's also pretty gay. Which I think it deserves. It deserves Number prop six, points for being gay. Naruto. Does it have an ungodly amount of filler episodes? Yes. Does it have some shining moments? Absolutely. That's the pilot. Am I <laughs> blazing the trail for yeah. many shonen that followed? The Naruto show that I started doing a show about. one of anime's most well-known protagonists, whose way of the ninja leads him on quite the character arc, going from prankster and social outcast yeah. to the hero the Hidden Leaf Village needs. Yeah, I've cried in the show a couple times. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, his, all his friends giving him the Rasengan power, so he could fi he finally beat Sasuke. Unforgettable roster, including Sasuke, Kakashi, Sakura, and a whole lot more. <laughs> unforgettable. Day, <laughs> continues to... An unforgettable roster, including Sakura. You're trolling, Ashley. Rack up more hits than misses. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, that's that's fucking hype. What guy says they fuck up Mario? Five, Hunter, Hunter. How did I Second not remember Hunter? Job, <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, it's because I wasn't trying too hard. That's why. I'm trying to let the the the, the video take me on a journey. But yeah, you have to put this up. With there. contrasting but equally interesting leads, we see our four heroes fight their way to earn themselves the title of Hunter and accomplish their own personal desires. Kind of like a D and D game. But like, with a lot of death. Well, a DD game's doing a lot of death, but not like main Everything characters. Everything from like Gon and Killua's moving friendship, Kurapika's lust for vengeance against the Phantom Troop, and the unnerving appearances of the psychotic Hisoka. There's a little bit here for everyone, but the most Chimera of all, these fights can be brutal as hell. Yeah. Yeah, Hunter Hunter doesn't fuck around. Number four, attack on no. No! No! Why? No! The manga was posted in a shonen no. magazine. It counts. No! Number four? What started off as a fight for survival against giant All right. animalistic creatures. Is One Piece gonna be number one or Dragon Ball? Evolved into a beautifully told, it's, utterly listen, okay, it's it's all right. We know the top three. It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Dragon Ball, and One Piece. Okay, no 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 Cowboy Bebop or anything like that. So that's fine. Um, one Piece. They might put One Piece third. They might. It's not a great anime, One Piece. <laughs> I mean, the anime is pretty good now. All right, we'll see. The stating delve into human cruelty and resistance, as Eren and company soon discover that for as monstrous FMA as the Titans are, FMA Brotherhood is like a really good anime. compared to the savagery found And Dragon Ball's like the OG, OG. Attack on Titan. With moral ambiguity, slick sequences, and some of the most harrowing death scenes you're likely to encounter, unraveling the layers of this blood-soaked mystery is worth all the emotional damage. Is it? I don't know. The mystery bored me after like a season and a half. Actually, after the Number first three, season. Number three: Full Metal Alchemist okay. Brotherhood. While the original series remained a strong on contender, the, uh... this second adaptation remained much truer to the manga, and in yeah. doing so, gave us the definitive. This is probably the actual best shonen anime, like by like that like shonen anime series. Brotherhood is probably actually the best. It's just like tight, 
to the point, great characters, great writing moments, uh, animation, hype, fights, writing. It's got everything. I don't know. I mean, uh, the fact that I still haven't finished it's hilarious. <laughs> but, like, yeah, even, even Hunter x Hunter, I don't think. Hunter x Hunter is really good. But I don't think. I, I think Brotherhood's probably. Kill a hair of a brothers a hair and their mission to find above. the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, JJK, JJK could get there, though. JJK is really fucking good. And I, of course, I still gotta watch uh, Chainsaw Man and Spy Family. Um, Dr. Stone didn't make it. Sad. I knew Promise Neverland wouldn't make it because goddamn did that fall off. But I would like to see Dr. Stone in here. Um, but I guess it didn't leave its mark strong enough. What can you do? <laughs> With beautiful visuals and top notch Dragon Ball, and One Piece will be two, right? Plot that doesn't slow down we'll put for Dragon a Ball at one. This is one that doesn't shy away from the heavy subject matters either. Imagine One Piece isn't on the list at all. It's like Soul Eaters too. <laughs> Soul number two is Soul Eater, number one Dragon Ball. Uh, so don't be surprised uh, if you find yourself choking up on more than one occasion. Matero. Matero. Number two, Dragon Ball. Wow! They really put respect on it, bro. His lungs out. I really thought Dragon Ball Z would be I didn't think One Piece would get the top spot. Imagine it doesn't well, imagine number one Soul Eater. <laughs> <laughs> or, I don't know, what else could possibly, uh, I don't know, I'll name another popular anime, I don't know. Um, but wow, that's crazy. I really thought Dragon Ball Z would take the top spot. They're really putting respect on One Piece. Ooh, the Japanese, uh, like a... We don't think so. The While Japanese the series continues right. to expand with its newer incarnations, no fan can forget just how much fun it was to see Goku go up against the. See, this is a Dragon Ball Z. I would have put Dragon Ball, <laughs> cause I am a nerd. Frieza, Cell, Majin Buu, and more. But no, I mean Z. Place, you gotta put Z. It's the one everybody. The, knots end with a the grandfather of Shonen anime. And this, what he doing? Is to go. Even further beyond! Why do they always use the Super Saiyan 3 scene? I don't think it's that good of a scene. With so many iconic moments that have worked themselves into pop He turns into Super Saiyan 3 and doesn't, like, he doesn't on, win. No one will be forgetting the Kamehameha anytime soon. Yeah, now this moment's fire, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Him and Vegeta is classic. And Go Gohan Super Saiyan 2, which is where the show peaks. Before we reveal our number one pick, is some oh. honorable mentions. I bet Soul Eater will be an honorable sins. mention. I don't mind this being an honorable mention, even though it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's bad the same way Fairy Tale is bad. It still has Escanor, though. Kind of, Escanor kind of puts. Dr. Stone. Oh, made the honorable mentions! Okay. Yeah, you go. I just like that Dr. Stone's different. Oh, wait, wait, is Death, Death Note's gotta be on here, right? I didn't even think of that. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, imagine One Piece is an honorable mention as, like, number one Death Note. The disastrous life of Psyche K. Oh, a slice of life. Okay, beautiful. Slice of life comedy. Inuyasha. Wait a minute. What about One Punch Man and Mob Psycho? Those are shown in, right? We didn't get either of those on here? Got neither of them. Honestly, that makes me more mad that like Fairy Tail and Black Clover and Attack on Titan are on here. That's <laughs> we didn't get either One Punch Man or Mob Psycho. I, even if season two of One Punch Man was a step down, put Mob Psycho. Whatever. Inuyasha. Code Geass. Code Geass gonna be on here. Inuyasha. I've never seen Inuyasha. Hitman Reborn. Really? I've heard of this show, but really, over a Mob Psycho. They didn't put assassination classroom. They used it in the uh, in the opening, but they haven't put it yet. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our Number channel one, Assassination Classroom. Notes, all, all of them. Okay, if you're I'll, on your I'll, phone, okay, make all right, I'll one do piece. That. Amazingly developed <sighs> yeah, characters, number one's check. One's Out of this world settings, check. Perilous struggles with equally compelling villains, check. Well, Fight scenes that'll make your head explode. <laughs> Why are we using Fisherman Island for the villains? Oh, just to set up this moment. Well, okay. Woody Jones is not a compelling villain. It's not. But they're just setting up this time Luffy Still riding everyone. high to this day, the Straw Hat crew continue to bring us a mixture of thoughtful commentary on concepts like good, evil, and justice, all wrapped inside a bombardment of downright goofy comedy and surreally brutal fights. Also, eat the rich. One Piece. One Piece was about eating the rich before eating the rich was the uh, invoke. Eat the rich, baby. All we can hope is that this ship continues to sail for as long as possible. Kong Gatling, Kong Gatling Kaido. Did you enjoy this video? Check out. I did enjoy it. This was alright. Um. Not bad. They was missing some stuff, but you know. Can't be perfect, I guess.